Okay guys, so we are going to measure the potential difference across each element and also the potential difference from each node to the ground. As you can see, I chose the DC voltage source. I changed it to 12 volts and rename it to B input or B in. Now resistor. This is resistor 1, this is 1 kilo ohm. Then I am choosing other resistor, resistor 2. I connect resistor 1 to resistor 2. Now I chose resistor 3, also 1 kilo ohm, and connect it to R2. Now this is, I'm trying to fix the size, the schematic. I chose voltage in green, that's from ground by default to that node. Okay, so let's run the simulation. You see that this happens because I didn't choose a ground. So let's go choose ground. Now we have 12 volts. I chose the blue probe. And then the purple probe. Each one of them goes from that node to the ground. So you see across the voltage source we have 12 volts, R1. From that node to the ground we have 8. And from node 3 to the ground we have 4. 4 volts. So let's see, I'm going to put the green probe right there. And you can tell that I have 8 volts, but I selected a reference point. So that means that I go from that green probe to the reference. I am not longer going to the ground. Now I selected the blue probe with reference to R2. And this gray probe, I'm going to change the color maybe to red. Let's say I'm going to choose red and I place the reference probe at the other side of our tree. That means that that probe is measuring the potential difference across that specific resistor and is not longer going to the ground as it is by default. You can see that the potential difference of every resistor is 4 volts because they have they, they are all the same, 1K. And our DC source is 12. So if we add 4 plus 4 plus 4, we get 12. And the Kirchhoff voltage law is valid. Now I'm going to put the blue probe and put the reference at the ground. You see that in this case I have 0 volts because that's equipotential. It's just 0, it's ground. Now I put my probe across R3, just so that I had 4. Now I move the probe right there, I have 8 volts. And then I have, let's see, from the simulation, I have 12 volts because I am running from ground across the voltage source. Let's go the opposite way again, 8 volts. And then let's see, if I move the reference frame, 4 volts, you see, because in that case I am not measuring from the node to the ground, but from the node across that resistor. I hope guys that this basic tutorial for a measuring potential difference is useful. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.